Fight for Glory in the Arena in Gladiators Blood for Roses. Welcome to Tantrum House Studio Awesome. I'm Katie. And I'm Ryan. And today we're going to talk about Gladiators, Blood for Roses. It's a game where you are one of the great gladiator houses of Rome. And you have to select the gladiator you're going to sponsor and pit them against each other in the arena. We got our hands on the prototype. This is a completed game, but some of the components and such will be improved once it comes to Kickstarter. There's still uh, some room for improvement, especially among the tokens, and they recognize that. But we have the prototype, so let's take a look at it right now. Each round begins with an event being activated. Event cards show the glory rewards that first and second place will earn at the end of each round, the favor available to be gained during the round, and the glory that the amounts of favor can be exchanged for. If playing with the Sponsorship expansion, players will draw one card from each Sponsor deck and choose one to keep. Sponsor cards have little variable powers that affect the round in general. Gladiators are revealed and players take turns bidding on them. Whoever ends up in the rightmost space will claim that Gladiator for the round, but will have to pay the glory indicated. Each Gladiator card shows an icon that corresponds to nine cards that he will start out with his starting life points, any bonus favor that will be added to the event, special abilities that he can use, and his betting values. After randomly drawing a turn order token, players can bet on the gladiator they think will win the melee. The rewards are dictated by the gladiator's place in the turn order. The last thing players do before combat is selecting a tactics card. This can be played for a special effect sometime during combat. Combat consists of players playing attack, defense, and effect cards. Beginning with the current player's attack card, players go back and forth playing the associated response cards until they have to pass. The final card's effect then occur, and the next player then gets his turn. Once everyone has either run out of cards or life points, the winning gladiator gets that event's glory prize, as well as any remaining crowd favor tokens. Any reads won are added to the player's Wheel of Glory. Players can either play for a set number of rounds or play until somebody fills all the spaces on their wheel. So this game has kind of an immersive feel. Um, I think that's really very interesting. I, I like the fact that um, you're not just battling in the arena. Um, it's really interesting that you're doing bidding, you're bidding on the gladiators, you're making bets on who's going to win. Um, there's a lot of things about this that make it an immersive game, which is very interesting. The fighting in the arena is also um, kind of interesting with the way you can uh, prepare your moves ahead of time or, you know, sort of prepare your moves. So. It's really neat that it's kind of got that feeling of being there. I really liked the card chaining mechanic um, and the fact that certain cards can counter other cards. That really appealed to me. I liked that there was also the tactics cards so that you could shake things up a little bit and maybe even you could play your gladiator's special ability in response to something that was happening. Mm -hmm. I also liked the scoring mechanic. I thought the little uh, wreath um, wedges were really cool and the fact that it goes around this wheel was kind of neat. And then sometimes you can spend those things um, with the variant rule you can get uh, special bonus powers by spending them or um, you also have to spend them when you're bidding. I thought that was cool. Um, I also liked that there was just a ton of variant rules with it. It was almost too much, but I liked that there was a lot of variants, so you could play the game exactly the way you wanted to. So some things like betting were kind of optional, especially if you're playing with only two players. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really make sense. So you can adjust the game to kind of fit how you want to play it, and I appreciated that a lot. If this sounds of interest to you, definitely... Ugh. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't know. Do you, do you want to keep going? <laughs> Sorry. 
I should have just picked that. What do you want to do? <laughs> <laughs> Start with the wheel. You talked about going around the wheel. You okay. thought that was interesting. We can show the wheel. Okay. I also really liked the little wreath wedges that go around the wheel of glory and how that whole mechanic worked. And the fact that you, could, you had to spend victory points either for... Uh, special unique powers with one of the variant rules or in the bidding you have to spend the points to get points and I thought that was really neat and I just liked that it wasn't just a score track that you were following. Mm -hmm. I also really appreciated that there was a ton of variant optional rules that you could play with so you could really adjust the game to be just the kind of game that you want to play in the way that you want to play it. If this sounds of interest to you definitely check out Gladiators Blood for Roses on Kickstarter. Hello, and welcome to oh, Tan- Hold on, I wasn't smiling. <laughs> I was like, flat-faced, and then you started talking, so I worked out. So, go ahead. Okay. <laughs>